And this is going to be extra bases here to kick off the fifth. And the Rays strike quickly here in the inning. It's a leadoff double. Oh, and the Bay. screen shows the, the story right there as that hitting yeah. streak will live sure. to see another day. You know what, Matty? I don't see it ending anytime soon. I mean, we got to take a look at the upcoming matchups, but this guy is absolutely locked in the plate, and I don't think anybody gets him to lose his toehold right now. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Kiermeyer stands at second with no outs. Swing and a laser off into foul territory. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. Now that back to back doubles now, and that's a great way to get an inning going. The leadoff man shows him how it's done, and he comes right behind him following suit, lacing a double of his own. Could be a big inning if this continues. Standing in now, Zach Wheeler. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. A runner at second, nobody out. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Granderson is under it. He's got it one away. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. Now that second base. So it's back to the top of the order now. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. First delivery to him on the way. Fastball taken a little under the letters, called a strike. Fastball called for strike two. This is line to left. Granderson will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. The third baseman, number five, Matt. Duffy. Ready for another shot now. Matt Duffy, runner in scoring position with two gone. He's set. Here it comes. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. Line toward right center. That gets down and the inning will continue. Tack on another here as the runner scores from second. Wow, that's a baker's dozen. 13 runs right there, and they can't do anything wrong at the plate. I'm no expert, but I would have to bet that the manager would love to save some of those runs for the next game. Regardless, there's some happy men in that dugout. Striding in once again, Tommy Pham trying to keep things going now with a runner at first following the RBI single. This guy's having a pretty good week so far in one game. It's last that bat is second home run of the game. We'll see if they'll pitch him a little bit more carefully in this A.B. Owen won the count. Here comes the 0-1. Mine to the right side. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. Duffy isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And it's not in time. He's safe. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Man, I haven't seen an offensive explosion it? like this that's since I don't right. know when. It's been a combination of spotty pitching and inconsistent defense. And now they posted an amazing 14 runs on the board. Here now is Mike Zanino. from the stretch a swing and a drive to center field that one's got a chance Sierra racing back gone
two run shot to straight away center home run number 47 thus far as they just continue to pour it on here. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's obvious that he's in a groove right now. My advice to this staff, don't give him anything he can extend his arms on. You do, and he's going to make you pay for it just like he did. Up next in now, Bay, Daniel Robertson. The shortstop. Daniel. As he will take strike Robertson. one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Hit hard back up the middle. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate in. Scoring five. Welcome back to Miami as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, during the commercial break, I had a chance to catch up with manager Don Mattingly about the Marlins' offensive production, and he told me overall he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead Waiting to things turning around for them. No All right, fielder. thanks, Heidi. Curtis. So coming to the plate, Curtis Granderson. will start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Can you boys say next? Who's next up to back? Because this guy's done. You cannot fall down 0 2 to one of the better pitchers in the league and expect to get a base hit. He throws him on the fastball there. Neil. Curtis Granderson is retired Walker. for the first out in the bottom half of the fifth. Neil Walker will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. Digging in to try it again. Gabby Guerrero. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Fastball in there for a called strike. I really like how he's getting ahead early in the count. He's pitching aggressively, and what that does, it holds the pitch count down. That finds the zone a cold strike. Marlins are still on the lookout for their first hit of the ball game. Fouled off. And he's got another one here. 12 punch outs now in the ball game, and that'll end the inning. Miami down in order. Still 16 nothing. At the plate, Guillermo Heredia. He'll lead things off right for Tampa fielder. here in the sixth. Guillermo Heredia. Here's the first pitch to him. Line toward the alley in left center. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the Up inning. Jumped all over that the first fielder. pitch of the inning, and Gavin. he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. As with Kiermaier. one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. 
He's working on a one for three thus far. High in the air out to center field. Sierra is there, two gone. Now batting. The first base. So two outs now in the Tampa Bay four. sixth. And that brings up the corner infielder, G Man Choi. No balls and a strike to count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. This is pulled into right. Guerrero is there, and they go down in a hurry here as his side is quickly retired. Rays go in order. One, two, three. Now at the plate, Brian Holiday comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. We're moving through the middle of this Brian. ball game right now. They want to get things Holiday. going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Got it. As he just continues to mow down these hitters, 13 strikeouts now. Man, he is looking flat now out unhittable on the mound field. right now. That's Bad five Jordan. straight punch outs. I love it, but I think he might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Magnera Sierra is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Fouled away. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's Ladies doing is gentlemen. working. All of his pitches, great command, great location, and the big key with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. That batting average hovering in the high 230s. One home run and 11 RBIs. Clips it behind his back. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. 1-2-3 go the Marlins. Still 16-0. Caleb Smith please. enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Up next for the Rays, Zach Wheeler. So far, two for three in this one. Strike one to start the at-bat. Fly ball out toward left center field. Giving chase is Sierra, but he isn't going to get this one, and the pitcher's going to have himself extra bases. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. When you've got the now pitcher back. leading off an second inning, you have to feel pretty confident Go about getting the first out without much problems. But the pitcher with a bat in his hands had other ideas, put some solid wood on it, and found himself on second with the leadoff 